It's time to let voters decide. It's election day across South Florida where dozens of races and issues will be decided. Polls open in just about an hour at 7 and will close at at 7 tonight. And if you didn't mail in your vote or visit an early voting site, you now have to bring your ID and vote at your assigned voting location. And one of the most talked about issues that's said to be decided is whether to push up last call in the South Beach Entertainment District. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live from Miami Beach City Hall, where residents will be voting on the hotly debated issue today. Brooke, good morning. Hey, Maribel, good morning. This idea has sparked protests across Miami Beach. Today, it heads to the polls. For the last several weeks, we've seen protests throughout Miami Beach. Bartenders, club owners, and hospitality workers fighting to keep nightlife in Miami Beach open until 5 a.m. Some arguing a loss of jobs and a loss of money. I think that the economic impact would be catastrophic. In a recent study released by the Miami Beach Chamber, an economist predicted a loss of at least $227 million a year if last call was rolled back three hours to 2 a.m. But on the other side of things, Mayor Dan Gelber says Miami Beach has been forced to spend millions on extra policing because of the late night nightlife. And I think we've really got to I think we've got to be serious about the fact that we no longer can be this, you know, come on down here and do what you would never do in your hometown. This morning, the decision is left to the voters. A referendum on the ballot proposes stopping alcohol sales in Miami Beach at 2 a.m. Mayor Gelber, a large proponent of the change on the ballot. Our city created a essentially a hard party district. Uh, which is uh, drinks all night, and it has been really attracting a very difficult and very disorderly crowd over the last decade or longer. But some of those hospitality workers, Maribel, disagree. They sent a letter to the mayor and to some Miami Beach commissioners last month. In that letter, they wrote in part that they also want a safer Miami Beach, but threatening the way they feed their families is not the answer. I'm live in Miami Beach, Brooke Schaefer, CBS4, this morning.